Hello, hope you're having an amazing day. In this video, I want to show you how you can add somebody as collaborator. Uh, I have this happening a lot that some people uh, need help fixing something on their site, uh, or maybe you hire a new employee. Uh, there's many reasons why this is very useful, and you don't have to share your password. So there are two ways to do it. Once you're on your dashboard, the, you're gonna see this option right here or this button uh, as in site actions. Once you click here, you're gonna go to invite people. And then once your page loads, you're gonna see this option right here. And here, we're gonna add an example of a site, right? Uh, an email, let's say. So, once you add the email, it's gonna ask you what type of role are you looking for, right? So if it's a secondary owner, let's say you want somebody to have uh, complete access of the whole website, then you'll select this. If it's somebody just on the sales manager that's gonna be uh, doing things like campaigns or uh, looking at you know, items that you're selling or updating your stock, uh, on your store or things like that, then you're gonna do the sales manager. For somebody that you want them to have access to the front end of the website, like the editor in the back, then you're gonna do admin. And then if you just want them to be able to edit the site without accessing the back end, then you're gonna do website manager or website designer. And then from here, you also have a few other uh, items like billing roles domain manager if you want them to be able to connect the DNS do things like that but also not be able to transfer away from your account and then you have your marketing manager so you can also create a role and add specific things let's say you need certain things you can do it right here so that's the first way to do it the other way to do it is by using the button here on settings and then under settings you're gonna go here on roles and permission. And then once you're right here, as you can see, it's gonna show you how you can invite people. So you're gonna click here and invite to this site only, yes. Same process, you're gonna add the email, then you're gonna select the option. So let's do a test. And then actually let's do this one right here and then we're gonna do admin so once you select the role that you want them to have you're gonna click send invite and then right here you can select uh, who they are right if it's a client or if it's an agency or a colleague and then just click done and then once you do that they're gonna get an email. Now, many times when you invite people, they might say, I didn't get the link or it didn't came through. Sometimes it gets misfiltered by spam. So if for some case or reason they lose that email, you can come back here on the settings, go on the roles and permissions again. And then once you're here, you're gonna see it says pending. So you can go in these three little dots and get the invite link. By doing this, you can just copy the link and email it directly to the person and that should be okay. So that's how you add somebody as a collaborator. Hope this helped you and see you in the next video.